exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. <laughs>
Nah, my he baby had his mom. It was just bars. M had his moment. That first album with Dre was No, let me tell you something. If his, if his style that. was his style and he was rapping about something else, mm-hmm. I'm all for it. But mm-hmm. I gotta take I gotta take some away for I gotta take some points away for that bullshit. Raping his mother and yeah, stealing her yeah, coke. Yeah, I don't listen, know. Yeah. That, listen, that first album with Dr. Dre, the first two really. The first two, I, I them was classic. Stop it! You can't. Them was classic. Can't deny it. Them was classic. And even he even it showed growth. Hard. Remember the second album, the, yeah. uh, the, first, the first second scene. You say um, they say I couldn't rap about doing coke no more. They, they say I can't bro. rap about being broke, broke no more. more. Like he even showed you growth. Yeah. Like the first album, I, yeah, I was drugged the fuck up. But then he now says, I got that bitch, don't think I want to. Uh, let me tell you something, and what I'm guilty of too. Uh, this, this is just, some hip, this, just some, this just some hip hop shit. Like nigga always trying to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga always trying to compare, right? <laughs> nigga always making a competition, but he can't fuck with three thou wild. Oh shit. He ain't got a. He ain't. He arguably, ain't, arguably, he ain't, I mean, that music is different though. He ain't it's different. been close. To he three thousand, three thousand go, three, yeah, three yeah. K raw, three K. That's where my name came from, four thousand. Is that right? Stop it. <laughs> Listen, is that how that Stop came about? It. Come on, man. I do too much. That's and that's another reason why I did this album. This was just to, just trying to show niggas I could jump in your lane. Yeah, yeah. I could do all kind of shit, niggas and niggas just they you know me and Tweed we the underdog, bro. But I done done all this shit, nigga. I done drew niggas album covers, drew niggas. Pants and airbrushed uh, uh, in them days. Yeah. Nigga DJ, nigga ran around the world as a DJ, nigga came home, created a production company, got behind niggas, made stars, nigga got behind the camera directing out. Nigga, I done directed probably how many videos, bro? Right, bro. Ten. Ten more than that. Did you direct, I done directed did you, so many motherfucking did you direct, videos. Did you direct a video just recently where y'all was delivering the packs, the dope era? What's your name, bro? Oh yeah, I just start putting my name on directed by, but I've been directing uh, videos. You directed you directed that video where y'all was delivering the packs. It was just my recently. ideas, me and Gatlin's ideas. Yeah, I can't take all of those solos. That was hard. Though. Gatlin, yeah, yeah Gatlin, was, Gatlin, was, Gatlin. Uh, saw that one today. Yeah, but he definitely he saw what I was doing. Like, bro, I need to fuck with you on the videos. Like, that's where that came from. And shout out Bub Sop. He got a cat in Sacramento that shot it. Okay. Bub dope. He dope. That was, Them niggas that was shoot hard. movies. That yeah. was hard. That was hard. Yeah, but I, I like mean, that. you know, so I'm directing videos over here. Yeah. I'm writing hooks over here. I'm a and r this. I'm ceo and that. I'm dropping this project. I'm, come on, bro, stop. So is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay for our rappers to be okay with just not having to go to work? Because I, I feel like that's where we at. I well, feel niggas like niggas ain't going to work. I feel like I feel like it, I feel like Empire is the gift and the curse, right? We've been the best motherfuckers at being independent, right? Right. And and Empire is like enhancing that times ten. They showing niggas how to get the bag back, right? Yeah. By themselves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And even niggas from well, other regions. I, is I would say in. Empire is giving niggas the opportunity to get the bag. You got to put some work in, though. No, you got to put some work in, but there's plenty of niggas that is probably on the same level they always been without even monetizing. Mm. Like, niggas just hot in the street. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? The the first thing they going to do, Nima, somebody going to call you, come through. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let me show Mm. you how to get this money. And uh, and so what I mean by that is because niggas get checks and get checks consistently, Mm. because that's not the case for everybody. Right. Rappers on, I'm talking about third tier, fourth tier rappers. That's not the case with everybody. They making it more convenient like that now with like United Masters and, Mm. you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But, uh, is that a handicap also though? Does that make us not reach out more? Nah, and go get at the end of the day, bro, whatever you want is at your fingertips. It's, uh, and you don't niggas know what they want. Nah, a lot of times they don't. A lot of times they just kind of in positions until they kind of uh, one position play out and then it's like, oh, what else I'm going to do? I'm going to go over here. Or they see somebody else doing something and like niggas do. Jump in that lane. I mean, oh, yo, you got a closing line. I'm about to do a closing line. Oh, right. you got to I'm, I'm about to do one of them. But what's your passion? Is your right. passion really in that? Right. Or is you just doing Everybody it because the next doing it? Get them a strain of weed. Trendy shit. Yeah, it's just right. trendy shit. Trendy you know shit. Saying? So in the in the in the um. So starting to do. Um, this album. Yeah. Fear. Fear. Yeah. What's the acronym again? Face everything and rise. Stalin said, fuck everything and run. Stalin, <laughs> 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 nah, face, face everything and rise. I mean, I could have put the dots and shit in between the letters and really just 
totally built on the title, um, but I didn't want to get that far into it. I really just wanted this motherfucker to be a statement to say, damn, this, that nigga folk a rhyme. That nigga yeah. got, he can rap, nigga, stop it. Yeah. Like, and, oh, I just thought he did hooks. Oh, and I thought he was just a DJ. Oh, and I thought, I didn't know, you see what I'm saying? And like I said, this is just me just, I'm checking shit off my list. While niggas just was focused on a box, I got boxes. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm checking shit off my list. You know what I mean? And that's all it is. What was the inspiration for that artwork, though? That, huh? uh, shit, just <laughs> me just getting in there, like, fucking what we gonna do? I don't know. I went to the motherfucking Ace Hardware and shit. <laughs> I, found some, I, found, I found some clever tools. Yeah. I just did a photo shoot. Me and Tweed did a photo shoot, and then toward the end, I said, let me do 10 shots by myself. I jumped in there. That was it. It wasn't nothing much. Had yeah. Tower, had uh, Tower, shout out Tower from PTB. Had Tower do the cover. It was a wrap, man. There's no, uh, there's no, no features. Nah, I styling on there, Keek on there. I mean, I, I mean, credited features. Why not? Meaning, what you mean? On your track list, it does. The, they're on there. They on there? Yeah, they're on there. Maybe, maybe on. Oh, I might have downloaded my shit off something else. Yeah, nah, they're on there. They're credited. Oh, yeah. They're credited. I did. So it's because of styling. I did uh, Cobain. You got Keek? Cobain with Keek. I did Fear Me with Stalin. I did, uh, uh, yeah, what's that one called? Uh, Bro, Soul, tell Soul me about Stella. the black nails on Cobain, but. I was just, it was just paying homage. Part of the, it was yeah. just paying homage to Kirk Cobain. No, okay. Man, that was it. Okay. And I knew motherfuckers was going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. We was in the barbers. I was cutting hair. You just got to do it. They was like, is fuckery. this nigga nails black? Yeah, I'm like, hold it's on. fuckery. But, yeah, and, so. man, and man, it's crazy. You don't know how many compliments I got that day. I actually went to the nail shop, uh-huh. and you feel me? Was getting a manicure, pedicure, and I had thought about it a couple of times. Like, should I do that for this video? Fuck it, let's do it. Paint them black. I painted them black. It you Look, did the, the whole, light. all the females in the nail spot was like, I like how you did that. I like that <laughs> <Yeah>. for real. <laughs> I like your stuff. Even the female, the models I had in the in the video, they, while we was doing the shots, they leaning over me, and we yeah. having moments, and they like, oh, I like your style. How long I'm before like, you took the nail polish off? Next day. <laughs> I took it off the next day. Believe that. I got out of that, bro. <laughs> that ain't just, me. I was just in costume. That ain't me. It's just costume. It's a character. Yeah, yeah you feel okay. me? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. So niggas didn't even know about the whole you was portraying the character. Yeah, it was just, I was just giving paying yeah. homage. Paying yeah. homage, you know, to the... the These the, niggas know them, man. Yeah, it's just to the musicians that's misunderstood. So you know back, back to the throne. Mm. Tell me about it. Back to the Throne was me just paying homage to... I liked how... I'm not sure if Future said it. I think it was Future. Future had a record where he said, uh, God blessing all the trap niggas. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm seeing how a lot of the young niggas from our era, our soil, inherit the next trendy word, trap. Mm-hmm. So now we got niggas that come from not gangs. Mm-hmm. We come from turfs. Mm-hmm. We never was trapping. We was always grinding. Okay. So I just wanted to keep it authentic to the soil. And instead of we saying, God blessing all the trap niggas, I'm not surrounded by trap niggas. I'm surrounded by mob niggas. This is my version of saying, hey, man, you feel me? This is where we from. I ain't forgot about this soil. Right. I ain't forgot about this culture. And I'm still pushing the agenda. Did they? Did those guys ever talk about being just two, balance? Two Once village again. niggas on the song. I heard some whispering. Did but, you even trip? Well, or is them just your artist partners? No, no, no. I looked at they are. For one, I DJed for the loonies. For for two, the delinquents is iconic when it comes to the to the word Oakland. Right. Niggas is icons. They they deserve way more accolades than they man, probably absolutely. got. Man, for and, real. And, and G Stack is like one of my big brothers. You feel me? So mm-hmm. um, when I did, when I had thoughts of the record, when I got the hook together and I said, "Lil Partner," we know who Lil Partner is, mm-hmm. and we all know where Lil Partner from. I said, "Well, how ironic would it be to just to go get these two niggas that's mm-hmm. from the? You feel me?" So mm. once again, I'm telling you, I like I like mm. hip hop that's clever. Mm. I re, I would love to get back to the days where everything was clever and there was a substance, something behind it to make you say, ah, he thought about that. That's right, dope. right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Because right. now we're in this place where everybody is just shooting shit off the head, and I'm sorry, a lot of that shit ain't dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's 
the, how you think is what deciphers what kind of motherfucker you are. Mm-hmm. And when you listen to a person, when you listen to a person talk, when you listen to a person rap, you can kind of tell. Yeah. Or you can get some type of understanding of mentally where they at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I just like motherfuckers that can that can have a good conversation or teach me something or show me something or right. make me think about it the way I wasn't thinking about it. Make me think. You know what I mean? You, you, um, it seemed like it seemed like you intentionally, you know, how I could I say this, uh, or more aggressively express four racks. Of course you did because it's a four racks project. Right. But it seemed like you 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 like not throwing it in niggas' face, but letting it be known. Like you said, I am, I, I have been humble, but I am one of them ones. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause I never I never wear. That type of nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never wear that type of even though he exists. You feel yeah. me? I mean, I got niggas and that's in my corner. It's like, nigga, you too humble. I don't know a nigga iller than you. Right. I don't know a nigga that could do as much as you can. Right. I don't know a nigga who the gay back like you. I don't know a nigga that the story is ill as you. You feel me? I right. got niggas that tell me this. I know it's true, yeah. but I don't focus on that. Yeah. I, to me, this shit is like swimming. Mm-hmm. I put my head in the water and I swim. And I don't know how far I come till I come up for air. Yeah. You mm. feel me? When I come up, I'm like, oh, look how far we came. Well, let me go ahead and dig back a little bit more. And I'll just swim some more. You feel how, me? How much, is, how, much, uh, how much did you pull back into uh, what you learned early on like for this? Because this is your first solo project. First solo, yeah. So how much... You've been preparing for this one moment it's your entire career. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, because it's the first album. Subtly. It's like yeah. it's like being at the park, playing, pick yeah. up, and then I get an yeah. AAU, then I'm like fucking around in yeah. high schools, and I'm in college. That's basically yeah. what it's been. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With, yeah. with, but I treated it like a mixtape. Because like oh, I okay. said, because if you look at it, like I said, I just wanted it to be reminiscent of what we love, right. which is hard beats, bars. Clever, clever hooks, and bars. clever bars... And just had to, I had to bring the young niggas in it. They want to hear to shoot them up, bang, bang, bars. And I could do that if that's what y'all want to do. Mm-hmm. Right. So I had to give them something that was going to make a little bit of noise and sense. And I, and I always, and I, I really had to just come to terms with, I'm not giving them party records. This ain't going to work in the strip club. I'm not giving them radio records. Mm-hmm. This ain't going to work on KMEL. I'm not giving them what they, what, what we consider as, uh, the big picture for music. But why wouldn't you want one of your singles from your first solo album to go to? Why? Because I because a... because with the, with so much music that I make and how crazy the game is now, I don't even know what a fucking single is. I'm still I still now a single is dedicated to a tempo. If it can make the the dance flow run, we got one. Mm-hmm. That don't mean what, what happened to the subject matter. Only thing we're worried about now is is the bitch gonna twerk. Mm-hmm. That's a single. Yeah. I'm not gonna play that game. Yeah. I'm trying. I don't to... want. I don't care about that, bro. I got Nick. My, Twee got a daughter. Yeah. I got niggas who got daughters. I got a daughter. I don't really per se need. The, I need to be the balance. So you see what I'm does, saying? Does yeah. Bull Rex it, not bro. get so? With that being said. Forex didn't want to get sexy, cause like nah, I'm not. I, I, I mean, Rod Wave ain't sexy, but he's singing. Yeah, but I can't sing. That's just to show you, I cannot sing. But you do it. Well. You sing, I, I've created a character that has boundaries. As long as I stand the boundaries, we safe. Mm. <laughs> and I and I I just look. I sat back. Tweed went on Apple Music. I think I had two hundred features. Damn hooks. I can't sing for shit. I faked it the whole way, bro. And that's why I'm like, okay. But you wrote, said, but you wrote them, them hooks. I wrote them all. Yeah, you wrote, wrote them, all. them hooks. I wrote them all. That's the cheat code. Wrote if you them write all. them, you can sing them. Wrote them all. Yeah, yeah but I'm just saying, Rod Wave can, Rod Wade can sing, something. bro. That nigga can sing. It's a lot of niggas I I'm, think I'm trying to think of a nigga who can't sing, but I'm trying to think of a nigga who didn't have that tempo who still was making them. Club records or not necessarily the club records, but big because all them little emo niggas my daughter listen to be on some like all the songs that my little six year old like they be they niggas be sad are <laughs> niggas are singing on there. Well, a lot of that shit is drug shit. It's either it's either it's either twerk this 
Twerk or be that, high as a motherfucker. Or we Molly popping, perk cassette tripping, baby bottle uh, full of that watch. suicide watching. They love all that blue Fago and uh, you know what I'm saying. Blueberry Fago mm-hmm. was, a, mm-hmm. and I'm not in either and, one of them lanes, bro. Yeah. Right, right. So right. I said, let me go ahead. I'm, and I definitely would be on some sucker shit by trying to let me do my version of that shit. Speaking of that. Where I'm do, a leader, bro. Where, where do where do where do where do the older artists stand in this game? Because I feel like it's a very young man's game, only because of this. I feel like it's a young man's game because old niggas damn near don't even know how to work the computer. <laughs> like niggas be like, "How you do that shit now?" Like say a phone racks had an all digital release. Right. Your peers is gonna be like, "Duh, now." It is all What the fuck release. I'm supposed to do? Bro? I, I got to put in the code to listen to the shit, man. I don't got the subscription. What are they doing? Like, right, right. And, and, that, and that shit is just funny to me, though. Yeah. Like, if it ain't on Facebook, they don't know how to fuck with it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But I, I also want to, I totally agree with what you're saying. But I disagree with the, it's a young man's game. I think the game is built on the most cleverest niggas. The niggas that figure out how to do something that you just couldn't do. They,